Hi. So I finished my poncho project. This is just an old military wool blanket that I've had, and I've used it many times as a blanket I keep in my bedroll. Um, and I've used it a, several times to wrap up in and, and keep warm when either my coat's not available or I don't really need a coat or I don't really want a coat. I just want something to keep a little bit warmer for a short period of time or whatever. Um, so I took the blanket and after a lot of years of hemming and hemming and hawing about doing it, I just made I just made a, a, a tea cut in here to put my head through. And you know, as you can see from my stitching, it, it tore and I had to I had to stitch it, I had to, to stitch it up and and strengthen it a little bit. And I wanted to finish it. I wanted to make it look nice. Um and I still wanted to be able to use it as a blanket, but I come to find out that because of this head hole, you get a cold bum because it's right in the middle, there's this big hole. So I was gonna trim the whole thing in this in this deer hide, but the old earth the old arthritic hands aren't doing so well. So I was able to get this part on and then for this part, I just reinforced it with with some latigo, just a, a, a basic whip stitch. And then I put a uh, paracord lacing in there so I can take to this loop here and tie it shut. And it keeps the bum warm. This loop also gives me something to pick it up and hang it, hang it on so I can hanging on a tree or, you know, whatever, and it, it works pretty well. Down here at the bottom of the lacing, I tied a, a figure eight on a bike. So I've got something to tuck the, tuck the loose ends in or for a light load carrying. Like here, I've got one of my carry pouches that I made for my open now. This is another real simple Real simple little, little project. Just another piece of, of the same deer hide. I oiled it with olive oil. I sewed it inside out and stitched it and turned it, you know, turned it inside out so that the stitching would be hidden. But then I had to stitch across back here because I like fringe and I wanted, to, I wanted the fringe hanging out on the bottom so that stitching's visible. Now I took a, another piece of uh, this latigo and just pinned it with a couple of rivets, bent it over and did a, a real simple whip stitch, uh, like you would use for, for whipping the end of a rope. You know, just, just a, a, a real simple something that, that uh, you know, most any scout or a bushcrafter should know. And then for a closure, I didn't like trying to use a belt on this because trying to trying to fit the belt, put it on and get the belt around and still be able to move my arms and have freedom of movement just really wasn't working for me. I wanted something that, that would be, that would just be built in and quick and easy. So I put a couple of grommets, there we go. Put a couple of grommets and some more latigo. And so this is on both sides. When I cut this, I just took and laid it over my shoulder to find, to find that line. And then this is center line. And I made that cut. And then to place the closures on the side, I just put it on and figured out where I wanted it. And uh, popped, marked it, popped them in there. And it works great. It's uh, comfy. It's fairly warm. It's easy to put on and off. Uh, and I can still use it as a blanket. And then it's not waterproofed. And I'm, I'm not going to try to waterproof it. Uh, wool will help keep you warm. 
even when, even when it's wet, but it's not really not really something you want to bet your life on. Hypothermia is uh, not fun. I've <laughs> been there, done that, don't want to do that again. Um, but this would make a really good liner under like commercial rain gear, uh, plastic or vinyl poncho, or even just a, a big trash bag if that's all you've got. Uh, just something to keep the heavy water off. I wanted to put a hood on it and I really wanted to make like a boreal shirt type of thing with it, but I'm a big guy and there just wasn't enough material. So I used what I had. I'm into this this whole project probably about, <laughs> about five bucks. I paid like five bucks for the blanket at a yard sale and the rest is just scraps that I had laying around from other projects, so yeah. It's, yeah, that part's good. I, I like making things, and I like being able to share the things I make, um, and I'd like to see what, what you folks make. So, you make something cool? Let me know. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.